Hello everyone, and welcome to a new series, Lost in a Castle. It's a roguelite type of game, and I already spent 15 hours on this game. But, let's start a new file, because it's just so fun. I bought this game on the sale last week, and... I'm not even going to do voice acting for this because <clears throat> I can't read very well. So, there is kind of like a story behind it, but, uh, yes, I guess there is, and it's awesome. <laughs> I don't know what else to say, uh, hold on, let me just turn down the music a bit, because I think it's a bit loud. Uh, that did not save. <laughs> Press auto combo. I have no idea what that is, I'll just leave that as. <clears throat> so, this game is in close. uh. no, it's in beta, I think? Early access, and I picked it up because it was on a Steam sale uh, on Sunday, and I already spent like 15 hours on this game. It's a roguelike type of game where you can just like. uh. Go through some dungeons, so it's kind of like Binding of Isaac, kind of, but it re really reminds me of a game that I used to play with my brother called Ragnarok Offline Battle. Uh, and this game has tons of weapons. Well, wouldn't say tons, but <clears throat> enough to keep you occupied. And I've spent 15 hours so far to playing it, and I haven't got bored of it yet. There are some frustration in this game, but it's mainly my fault if I die or not, or maybe the not right weapons I got. So, <laughs> there are some advantages to some weapons that I feel like it's a lot better. I don't know how to explain it, but I'm guessing this series will show you. Like, uh, so this is the starting place we always start up with, so every single time we die, we become a new hunter. And we're starting off with a spear. I have not really much got. I don't really have that much experience with spear. <laughs> but let's see how it goes. So, yeah. Uh, you can see a skill meter there. It once it's go full, you can actually use your special attack, which is this at the moment. Stappy, stappy, stappy. And. Every single time I press a button, it just do this combo. For spears, if you press Y on an Xbox controller, you can do a flip. And if you press like the attack button, you do another stab at the air. So these are people that you can rescue, and it will give you some advantage in the next playthrough. So you have to unlock them by uh, getting some demon souls. I think they're called demon souls anyway. It's the purple things on uh, next to the coins. So if you don't open the gate, you won't go. You won't go anywhere. 
<clears throat> so you have to. These are traps on the floor. They hurt you and it slows you down. These are ice traps. So my favorite weapon is probably the bow. But at the moment, I don't have one. Oh gosh, I'm gonna get frozen. Oh. The reason I like the bow a lot is because... Oh, I didn't know you can do that. Oh, actually. I don't know why I did that. Oh gosh, I die. The reason I like the bow a lot is because it gives a lot of range and you don't need to go in, like, too deep with them. Those purple things are demon souls, those are like skill points. Uh, you get like consumables that heals you. There are some certain places you can go to access other areas so you can get a bit more items. Like for example this one. As I went down, I don't know if it's randomly generated or is it some certain pattern, but every single time I go down here, I go to some area. Um, oh, that failed completely. Um, you can see there's like some little shadows thing uh, hanging up. It's basically that. <laughs> Guillotine. Oh gosh. Oh gosh, I'm gonna die. Oh god. Oh, it wasn't even worth it. Oh, actually, it is kind of worth it. You get an attack boost. So you get like gems that give some attack boost. This is actually a machine, a slot machine. So if I give money to it, it can give me some stuff, which actually paid out. Wow, okay. Kinda. It gave me three extra coins. Oh gosh, I'm gonna die here. Ooh, dodged that one there. <laughs> so, there are some certain advantage of having certain weapons. Like this one, you can actually easily dodge some monsters move, but I prefer a longer range weapon because I feel like these weapons are a bit short range. Oh, I can't jump through that. Oh gosh. I may die here. <laughs> oh gosh, there's so many of them. Oh gosh, I don't have any consumables as well. Okay. Oh gosh. Oh! Oh no, that's bad. That's so bad. Okay. Right, <laughs> I guess you can see what happens when you die. So, if you die, you get to spend your points. I don't think I, ha I have even enough to actually spend anything. Four, four souls. So this is just saying that, oh, you, you know, have a different soul, you can actually level up. I'm one away, <laughs> I'm really mad. So you don't keep, get to keep these points as well, so once you die you lose all your points. Unless you have a perk that saves some of the points. Uh, which I won't unlock into a while. This is a bit better now because I'm actually ranged. Spear is like one of my worst. Spears and daggers are my worst weapons. So if I die one more time here, I'll just stop there and I'll carry on in the next episode. I want to make some progression though, <laughs> because it just seems a bit. Ugh. So this special attack is a bit different. Oh, you can actually teleport as well. But you can actually see how this is a bit more better than the spear already because it's more crowd control or maybe it's because I don't know how to use the spear very well 
generally I think uh, melee weapons have a bit more damage but the range and the crowd control actually makes up for that and look how much damage it has burn damage as well because this is a staff so chess flies up at the end of uh, every room and they can hit you but they don't do any damage so don't worry about that but if you have something that gives a shield it will knock it away though I think I believe um, wait, there's gonna be a lot from here let's gather them all up and what? and shazam it so you can see the advantage of having a ranged weapon there oh gosh that arrow is gonna hit me ah! Like, there's so much crowd control that you can do. Oh, gold chess. So there's three different types of chess. Well, more than three, but the main ones that you can see that drops down are the wooden one, silver, and the gold one. The gold one gives the most stuff. There's boss chests as well, so... Uh, but those are from bosses, and sometimes they actually appear randomly. Uh, it didn't really give me anything good, so up. I'll go up. So it's not an extra room then. I don't know how this works. I played it for 15 hours. I thought I worked. It. I thought I worked it out, but I guess it's just random. Oh gosh! Sometimes these things can actually jump in and just like hit you. They don't care about the damage that they take. Ah, potions. Potions are unknown until you use it, and then it'll tell you what it is, but that only lasts for this run because it's always different. Uh, but there is an item you can get to actually see what the potions is. Usually I don't really want to drink potions, but seeing it's like my first run, I might as well. Oh gosh, I lost two defense. <laughs> so, yeah, there's bad and good things about potions. Sometimes they give you really good stuff, and sometimes they don't give you anything at all. Oh, jump away. Oh, gosh. Oh! Gosh, why does this have so much health? Oh, okay, he's dead. Right, let's see what we get. Oh, lots of gold and banana. The most you can uh, hold on a consumable is 9, so this is like the passive stuff you can get. So you can see at the moment, we have 15 attack, once we pick it up, oh 15 attack plus 10, we have 17 now. Uh, let's see, you can rescue some people and they sometimes give you something. Or you can give them stuff and they can give you something. What was that? I know we've got seen this. Grants coin occasionally when attacking the monster. So, just like certain items I haven't even seen yet. Which is. And I've been playing for a while now. And that's why I like this game quite a lot. It's different. Oh gosh. I hate bats. I usually don't have that much problem with them, but I don't know why. Ah, so this is one of the maps, uh, one of the routes that doesn't have anything that can go to the next place. And you can get items. So these are dual weapons. They're like daggers. They attack really fast. But... They have such a short range. <laughs> I don't like using them very much, but maybe someday I'll use them. And it doesn't have that much more to, uh, damage than my other things. So I'll rather keep it. So the combat is pretty simple, to be honest. It's just press buttons. I don't know why that wasn't very responsive when I used my special attack. For 
of these, just run a while and then they will stop chasing you and then you can attack them. If you run on head on with them, most likely they're going to hit you. Oh. Or you can run down so you can loop around and hit them. Ah! Stupid person. I'm getting quite a lot of gold because I think of my passive. Let's see what this does. Well, it stops, it freezes me, but I shoot ice crystals for a while. It's only a duration, it's not a passive that you get forever. But you can see that, like, it's running out because it shoots my fireballs back again. Crates like those with bombs, stay away from them. If you're using melee weapon, try and hit it from a distance. Uh, there's not really much that is giving me. Our first boss is here. So a neat trick here with a uh, staff weapon, you can actually stop the machine by doing this. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> what the? Oh, it stops when you hits you, but I don't know why. But sometimes I can actually, sometimes I can actually stop it from doing that. But I guess that's only sometimes. What the hell? Why did it stop? Oh, you can slip on your banana pills as well. Oh, okay. So I guess... I keep pressing the wrong button for my <laughs> special attack. Oh gosh, I'm gonna die. <laughs> oh! I guess this is it for this episode. <laughs> Thank you for watching. And... Oh wait, I have to upgrade my skills first and then you can see what's happening. So... Let's unlock some abilities. I'll probably suggest unlocking the blacksmith and the thief first because then you can actually get more stuff. Uh, we can actually upgrade one more thing. And we can unlock the alchemist but I don't think it's worth it yet. So I'll put more in my damage. So yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time for the next episode of Lost in the Castle? Lost Castle. Lost Castle, that's the one. I'm getting confused with my other series. <laughs> Alright, bye.